what's up guys it may check them back in and today i am going to do a review on the new mustang um body style i'm not as sure s whatever um i guess i'm a little biased just because you know i am a camaro guy but um this fucking uh this new one looks like shit to me like it looks like a cheap ass uh jag like the it's like no design versus i think the last body style i wasn't a fan but it was it was okay and then the body style before that that was the best one to me i mean outside of the like the 67 68 69 those are the three best and i know a lot of people like the fox body i was just never a fan of it was a little too boxy for me personally but the 60 to 60 years were the best the best versions of the mustang period like and that's coming from i love the challenger the charger and the camaro more the old schools versus the new schools um i mean i do like the new challenger but the charger yeah, that's what I'm but um yeah, so the new 2018 Ford Mustang has got rid of the V6, to my knowledge, and kept the four-cylinder turbo. I guess uh, the V6 just wasn't getting the sales that it needed. Um, now, the new GT, because clearly that's why everyone's here. Um, if I get a response that I need to do a review on the, I guess, the EcoBoost and talk more about it, I mean, hey, I'm open. But, so, the new Ford Mustang GT has 460 horsepower and hits 60 miles per hour, excuse me, in under four seconds. So, I'm going to equate that to real world numbers. That would be about 4.2. Um, unless somebody's just a hell, hell of a driver. And seven times out of ten, um, that's not the case. Um, of course, Mustang is always lighter. Um... And it has 420 pounds of torque. So, five more than the SS. Um, as far as horsepower, but as far as torque go, is I guess, I'm guessing it's 35 less. Because I think the SS has 455, something like that. Um... I mean, that was a pretty decent numbers out of a 10-speed automatic, so I'm pretty sure somebody is definitely going to be hitting those fours, uh, super low fours, maybe a 3.9 stock, because uh, I've seen people do it in the SS, uh, 3.9, four stock. Um, so it's definitely possible, and that, those are good numbers. I mean, that's pretty dope. I'm glad they picked it up a little bit. Um, the only thing about the 5.0, man, the, you know, them extra little leaders give it a, to me, this is my personal, I, you know, as somebody can think different, but I feel like, like the 6.2 and the Camaro and the 6.4 and the Charger and the Challenger, like them extra little leaders, man, it gives it a more, uh, um, not as raspy sound. I feel like the 5.0 is really raspy sound when you do like exhaust. It doesn't sound bad. Don't get me wrong, but it's too raspy for my liking. That's why I was never really uh, a big Corsa fan like that. Even though their stuff sounds good, I'll just it's too raspy for me. Um, but like I said, it looks ugly. Um, I ha I did see it in black. The black wasn't terrible. If I had to do it, I would do it in black with the performance package. And then um, I've seen some uh, renderings. If I find them, um, I will post them um, at the end or, you know, in between, whatever. If I find them, um, i seen one rendering. I was like, that may be the one. But even that, like, I, I posted on the Cars World on my Instagram page. And people that are like Mustang fans are like, fuck no like i'm not rocking with this with this new body style like that but i know somebody's gonna get their hands on it and like make it look dope and we're gonna sit back and be like damn that shit is dope so i hope that happens because this this i'm not feeling that has a lot of power um 
So I like that, and I'm sure it's gonna be. I'm sure it's probably the same goddamn engine. No, you know Mustang don't switch it up with the Coyote. They keep the same thing. So I'm sure um, that's gonna be easy to build once you get your hands on it. Um, Cause uh, you know a lot of people be doing their things on on these 5.0s. Um, the other thing that was a little interesting to me. Was now they didn't jump the price up, so now that price now is uh, in the the Camaro One SS range, and that's like with nothing in it. That thirty seven, thirty eight, and then if you get all the all the bonuses, I seen it up to like fifty grand. So they definitely shooting their prices up, which I think is good, um, cause everybody in their mom won't have a GT. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing I do uh, I do like. Um, the, ma the manual does have a drag uh, strip mode. Um, um, magnetic ride dampers are available. Um, the EcoBoost has 350 foot pounds of torque with 310 horsepower. So I'm guessing that stays the same. Um, Let's see. Yeah, so I was right. So the EcoBoost starts at 25 grand. The GT starts at 35 grand. And that's of course with a manual. And then you know you had that the auto. I was basing off the auto, so the auto is gonna jump that up to 37. Um, and that's for nothing, no leather, no, you see, I got the one SS, I ain't got no leather, but I plan on changing all of this stuff out eventually. Um, they said the performance package will get the magnetic damper, uh, dampers, like I said, um, and Michelin Pilot Sports, 10-speed automatic, um, what else? So far, that's all I see. If I miss anything, I'm not ashamed to say I may have missed something. Let me know. Let, let, let me know what you think. You may think it looks dope. You may want one. Shit, I may, if I had it just to throw away and it was just like, oh, I just wanted to, I would rent it. I would rent it. I wouldn't buy it. I would rent it just to, just to drive it. Um, and then shit, you know, you never know, may driving back dang you know what i like this but it's a lot of other cars i have on my list first before even if i had stowaway money it's a lot more other cars that i have on my list first that i would buy before i got this but like i said i would like to test drive it i would like to see somebody put their hands on it and give it a different look and make it beastly and and then we'll have another review another discussion when that comes as always like comment subscribe uh, hit the notifications button. Um, please follow me on Instagram at ma underscore the artist on Instagram, Twitter. Um,